Yo, what is up, everybody? We are back with some more Snow Runner, and today we got the Royal back out. We ain't drove this thing in a minute. This is the first time I think we've drove it on this map, and yep, here we go. Oh, we'll drive. Come on. This was uh, our go to livery truck for quite a while. Um, there, on the end of the base game, was kind of switching back and forth between it and the international. Leaning more towards the international since it does have diff lock capabilities. And this one, there's no way to get it. There's not even an upgrade to get it. It kind of sucks. But at the same time, through most of the base game, we didn't use diff lock. My hair lately, I have been using it more um, as we was finishing up Tamir. Maybe a little bit in Alaska. Um, I can't remember. And some here in this DLC, which we are on the Season 1 DLC Search and Recover. We're here at the, was it Kola Peninsula, I believe? Kona? Kola? Kola, ain't it? I think. I don't know. Whatever it is. It's in the title, maybe. Oh, is it? No, that's not in the title. Where are we at? Kola. Yeah. Okay. I knew I was right. <laughs> but regardless, we're over here. Um, yeah, man. I, I still... I want to say I like this better than the International. I know the International is probably technically better. But this was my baby. I don't want to give up on it. But we used this in the International there for a while. And then we got the Tega. And then we was using it. And it can fucking move in some trains just like that 420 does. But the Tega just does not seem to have the pulling power. I don't remember it having that issue in... The mirror, but I don't really remember how much we actually used it in some mirror. Hauling wise, we saw some fucking logs and eight logs to start off with. Hoping this ain't be able to drive up over that, but nope. We're gonna go through this down here, and this ain't good. We just kind of get stuck and bogged down in here. Ah, oh, man. Yep. Oh, no, not that. It's really, let's just pull these down until next where I wanted to. Come on. So yeah, that tag just doesn't seem to have the towing power here on this map. So I'm going to assume it probably don't have it anywhere. I just didn't really notice it too much in Tamir since we didn't get it there until the end. And fucking logs, I wasn't <laughs> too crazy about that to start off with. Come on. We're not going to be able to go up here? And that shit ain't fucking turning out at all, is it? Look at that. The tires are fucking still as shit. There it goes. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Just dig some ruts. Oh, we're gonna go now? Okay. Thought the winch on our back end to that bow, but. Alright, we're going, we're going. This little section up here ain't too crazy about either. You get bogged down on here and stuck on all these rocks. Ah. But the reason we got this out, I wasn't going to get it out. I was going to keep trying to find some other trucks but I had gotten some new ones I just kind of looked at some of them I didn't look at all of them I was looking at the really? come on I'm gonna go forward some hoping using this winch to get me up over these fucking rocks a little bit nope there we go but uh we need a metal detector I mentioned we was going to do this in this video last time. I don't think it's actually mandatory. Uh, metal detector module? I have a module for the metal detector. Is that what I got on? We gotta go find a different one. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Well, yeah, it says it's recommended but not required, so we don't have to have it. But we got it on this, and I was looking at some of my trucks, and a lot of them don't have the ability to use this. I found one truck I was going to try that we had bought that has all wheel drive and diff lock and stuff. I was like, okay, it looked like it had good power to weight ratio. Your ability was all right, I guess. I don't, I don't really pay attention to that. I'm going to trash it regardless. So. Yeah. I was going to give it a go, but I couldn't get metal detector on it. So instead what I did, put a high saddle on it. I don't know if we're going to get to it this video or not. 
But after we do this contract, it will unlock another contract that is similar in style where we gotta go um, with a recommended metal detector um, as well as have a high saddle. It's required because we gotta do something about a trailer. This one doesn't. Um, and I couldn't put a high saddle and the metal detector on it. Hoping the metal detector would you know, kind of get bumped up more closer to the front of the bed with the saddle more closer to the back. It wouldn't let me put both on it at the same time. So I was like, you know what? Instead of having to recover this, I'm going to go ahead and use that one for the high saddle um, and see how well it works. As well as, you know, actually being able to pull and tow and stuff. Um, so if it does good, we might kind of replace the Pega at least for those type of contracts, possibly. But right now we're just doing this, and this has got three parts to it. I think the other contracts has got two parts or two stages. Um, and I think one of the stages on this one actually has like two sections or two things associated with it. I don't know exactly how long this is going to take. We might just do this one, this video, and then do the other one next time. I don't know. But also, I'm not seeing it right now. Maybe it's just the symbol on the map for this thing, but I was looking. It looked like there was a upgrade in this area, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Upgrade location discovered. What? Metal detector module. Go truck list. Yeah, the Royal BM-17. Isn't that what I got on right now? The International Paystar. I don't know if that's the international we usually use. Maybe. Wait, whoa, whoa. The Voron AE-4380? That might be... The other truck. Or Veron, I think it's a Voron, Veron something. All oh, those are the trucks I have, except that Pacific, uh, what was that? P512, PF, PS12, something, yeah. But is that not what I have right now? Huh. I'm surprised there wasn't a tr uh, car here. Usually it is. But now we gotta drive all the way the fuck over here. I am going to recover this, the driving back. And we're gonna go and look at this. See if this thing is a different metal detector module. Yeah, that's what's on there. So why did I have to discover that? I don't know. Let me look. We just got to drive there now, and then the second section. We need this delivered to the airport. Yeah, so I don't know if we need the metal detector for these or not. I don't know. Might need to go ahead and get out. But the. Oh, Voron Grad. Yeah, I don't think that was one of those. Okay, never mind. I was about to say. <laughs> I knew that was a fucking truck that we hired. And they're showing that on those. So I wonder if one of those others. That shit. I know I got a couple of Vorons. I don't remember why I chose this one over the others. Come on, get off of it. Now it's your buddy, but come on now. But it's not saying anything about needing a saddle or anything, so maybe we just winch onto whatever and it's starting to get dark and I ain't got no markers set out here. Alright, let's see how well this works. Hopefully this thing won't get stuck. Well, we made it to where we just went to just fine. Put the all wheel drive back on. I got a little bit of a damage to our engine. I was kind of rubbing up against that other truck and Rubbing against that rock right there. Come on. But yeah, I know 
between using it and the international, international had div lock, and this doesn't. That's basically what I've gathered is the main differences. One might have a little bit more towing power than the other, but I didn't r really notice it while towing stuff. I felt like they both did a good job with that. Um, but at the same time, I felt like this one got around better without using the diff lock and just having the all-wheel drive as the international did with both. Or maybe about the same. I didn't feel like I was actually needing diff lock too much while I was driving this. Of course, like I said earlier, most of the time I didn't even use diff lock <laughs> early on, so I'm that could be it too. Who knows? I don't remember which international it was that we were using a lot. I was thinking about getting it out too, and then I got like a couple different ones. I'm like, I don't know which one is which. Oh well. I'm sure we'll get them back out at some point. Hope we don't get fucking stuck here. I know we're gonna be going through the water. Could be doing alright. With that, I mean, we do have the race suspension, even though it doesn't really look like it. And the biggest tires that we can get. And we got a snorkel. The tallest one. Get through all the sides without getting too stuck. Stay over here to the side a little bit maybe. Ooh. Maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe we need to be on the path. Yeah, looks like we got more traction on the path. That's unusual. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Ah! Oh shit, there's rocks over here. I don't want on the side. Not too much on that side. Come on, get back over here. Get back on the side, maybe. Yeah, man, we're making it through this pretty good without diff lock or having to pop it down in low gear or anything like that. Like well, some other trucks would have to be in low and have diff lock, so yeah. Glad to be using this again. At least for a little bit. I'm gonna try that other truck that Voron, Veron, however you pronounce it. See how well it handles actual hauling and stuff. Yeah. Come on. I'll get dug into here. Engines. Whoa, 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 that's not. Golly. All right. That one got the 420. I'm gonna back up over here and flip this thing back over. Honestly, I kind of wonder if I could finish the rest of this this truck. Don't really know. I mean, it's not. I don't think what I'm having to get and deliver or whatever somewhere. Actual cargo. Not say anything about a saddle or anything. So I don't know if I really need a big truck for it. I probably ideally just fucking wait and shit. But that 420 can fucking pull, so here is and this right here is just to reach a certain area. I'm hoping we don't get fucking stuck in this ice. Happen to. Oh shit, look at that. Let's see if we happen to. We got that fucking 420 over here to pull us back out. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave. Come on. Really? Yep. Pull this thing. A little bit harder going through ice. And engine back on over there so it can help drive. Pull it with the winch. Yeah, it's not going to go very fast with the ice with it. I don't want to go very fast with the ice. Oh, did either. Ah. 
It made more sense if I would stay closer to the edge. Expecting it to start breaking on me. I don't know why. I think it was going to break that much. Come on. We can manage. Just not get stuck too much. Go towards this. Make this a little bit more solid. Yep. La la. Come on. Come on. And oh man. Far from those. Those are kind of like trailers. Come on. We'll wiggle our way out here. Hopefully. I can finally man. So for once we got to that little white section. It'll be alright, but nope. I'm gonna make my way over here to this little icy looking section closer to the banks. Alright. Alright. You know how much fucking fuel we wasted here. Let's turn that off. That's that. Change trucks. Uh well, we haven't went into the reserves just yet. Oh, well, this is going to work. We'll have to go right back out there. I was doing all right with some of the breakable eyes that fires with this. Oh, uh, man. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have just stayed up here on the... Don't go over the rocks. Take our chances with it. Maybe. Come on. Get on to the TUZ. Come on. I know you want to. Nope. Pull, 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 pull. There we go. Alright. Now let's uh fill the engine. Uh -huh. oh, man. I'm going to just move this closer to that one so we hit both of them about the same time that way we can make our way over there a bit i don't really feel like we should go up there to the road back down i don't think that'd be very efficient uh, man, i don't know how well these rocks are going to treat us looks like solid ice right here God damn it all right these trucks why didn't recover? Come on, go straight. I don't know how well these rocks are going to treat us, and we just seen exactly how it's going to treat us. Hopefully, this thing doesn't get stuck too much in here. We do have solid ice here and we should be getting in that water and that water shouldn't be too deep we drove through it before come on man i think we gonna hardly have traction on here fucking ice come on i think it's Really stuck on rocks. I think it's just fucking ice. Getting us enough traction to fucking pull it. We need chain tires on the shit. Uh, if I can just get it about up here to this marker, it would be all right. Yeah, there we go. We got a little bit of momentum. Be able to pull it some. What we need, we need momentum. All right, stop, stop. Come on. I think we might have a little bit better grip over here. Come on. Got my wheels turned to the left here. I'll be able to get up over here. Get some decent grip on this. On the snow, but it doesn't want to go. I'm sliding all over the place. I'm a little straight. Or to the left, all the way. 
Which ain't very powerful. One of the reasons why I was kind of hesitant about getting the Thomas Winch probably wouldn't be as strong as winches that we did have. Which, honestly, I don't know if it is or isn't. Most of the time I'm pulling the truck itself. Come on. this way there we go the engine change trucks all right Ooh. can I go around this under it maybe will we fit under fuck we will There we go. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. God damn it. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Holly. I was expecting it to be that fucking deep right off the bat. Man. Ain't that a fucking something. Ah. Oh. You got nowhere else to winch that. There's a... All in limb over there. Look <laughs> how fucking just barely out of our range. Are you kidding me? What? Fuck. Come on. Get us out. There we go. Thank you. Um. Hmm. Not go back in. Let's not go back in. Time to turn here. There we go. Holy. Uh, camera angle. I don't like it. Uh, is that not fucking shallow enough? You can see the rocks on the bottom. Yeah, okay. It is here. All right. I said I knew it didn't think that deep last time. We drove something through here. Right there at the end. Oh, we tried to go in that first time. That that was ugh. fucked up our engine. Pretty damn good. Alright, stage complete. Now we got to deliver to the airport. Those two things. I don't know where the fuck they are. Uh, we gotta drop them off over here. See here. Where's that? Where are they? I know we gotta deliver. Do we have to actually use the metal detector? Is that what we're doing here? Armored cars. So, how does it come over here? So, are there armored cars around here? I, I don't really know what we're supposed to be doing here. Let us come here. Uh, start engine. If we can do something with this metal detector. Scan. Okay, what does that tell us? Nothing. Like, I, I don't really. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I know we've seen some. Wraps of vehicles here and there, but. Why the fuck would they have us come over here? To visit this area. Oh, what the fuck's down there? visit this area 
and then deliver stuff to the airport. That I do not know. We can get on up here just a little bit more. See if it does anything different here. That doesn't tell me anything. Was that one place right back here? We haven't done anything back here, have we? Looks like a little somethings. Let's see. We can make it back there. Possibly. Got all this powdery snow. Don't know how well it's going to handle it. It's doing all right right now. Not too bad. Not too bad. We get down here. Ooh, yeah. We got chain tires. But we gotta find two of them. I wonder if they'll both be about the same area. Oh, damn. Hey, there is a car back here. Ugh. That's one of them? Yep. That's one of them. Gonna show us the other. Just that one. I wonder where the other one would be. He's, where do we pick that thing up at? I don't remember where the fuck we got that. We had went back here. We got it back here, didn't we? I wonder. If there's an armored car back there. And we just didn't grab it. Didn't scan for it. Didn't look for it. This is like riding here. Maybe? I don't know. Um, this, this doesn't do anything like the uh, seismic thing, letting us know about how close we are to it. Alright. I think turned around here. Probably running low on fuel. We still have that scout over there, that 420. Right. Oh, come on. Not too far away. Yep. Just barely. Even with parking brake on, you slide down that shit. Oh. Oh, you want me to. Take this thing. All right, so I can't winch onto it. I think I'm gonna have to get a crane. I think that might be more of a cargo container type ordeal for cargo. Um, so that means I'm gonna have to get a crane and I'm gonna have to get something with a bed. So I went ahead and went back to the garage and I don't know how big of an area we'll need. I went and got the take out. I got one of these big ass fucking cranes. I don't know if that's what we need or what, but what we're going to use with the Tega because I know the Tega can traverse the train decently where it has in the past. It just can't haul stuff. So I was like, all right, you know what? Let's do this. Hopefully that'll work. And then we got the twin steer over here with the extra long bed. I don't know how much of a cargo spot that's going to take up. I'm going to assume two. Oh um, man, if that's the case, I mean, that can hold forward. But if we can find both trucks, cars or whatever that we're looking for here, then we can put both of them on the truck at one time. Hopefully. Uh, I've been kind of looking here. This is all flat. And we reverse up until about right here. And I doubt it's right here because that's not very big. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing. I don't know if it would really be worth trying to go up this little area. But maybe go up here. Get a little bit of a clearing. Uh, maybe... Somehow try to, I don't know. It looks more like a mountainside. Maybe kind of look around this area. Maybe go up here and around, come back, come back down that way. A little bit of search that area some. If not, then maybe go back over here, uh, wherever the fuck we picked it up. 
and kind of search maybe in this little flat area maybe around these canyons whatever since that's where we got that module possibly oh man it got fucking dark didn't it so that's what we want to plan on doing let's go ahead and set out some markers uh man do something i'm just gonna like i said try to circle around this Maybe at each marker, I'm going to use that, uh, use the metal detector, see if it makes any kind of noise, pops anything up, just to see. We're about where that first one was. Go ahead and scan. I'm not making any different noise besides that one. And I wish I could just start driving. Having to back out of that, I could see not being able to drive while scanning or whatever. But once it goes back up flat, let me let me drive. <laughs> uh, man, I was hoping this would have been the case. I was hoping I'd be able to just tow it. I was thinking about getting that TUZ over here, hooking it up. Oh my god. If I can make it through these, uh, looks a little bit more shallower. There, maybe. Oh, I'll try that. Go ahead and use this metal detector, though. Maybe move this. Oh, it might not be less dense. I think it's <laughs> shallower. Uh, it's not as dense. It doesn't look like on the map, but we all know the map can be really totally reliable. Mm, maybe, 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 maybe. Since we're basically just right here, I'm not going to use it right here, but maybe on up there, I'll use it again. Come on. Be my luck, it's on the other side of the fucking map. We're running low on fuel. Let's get that 420 over here. There's that uh, fuel trailer, I believe, somewhere over here. I think of that little section right down here. I think I left one there. I might get that scout 420 or whatever. Bring it over here. Fuel us up with it. Pop it off. Right in here. Is again. Yeah, we're, our fuel starting to turn red. Not good. Come on. I don't know how well that twin steer is going to handle. All of this stuff. I think it's got all wheel drive and diff lock now. Um, I don't think it had that in Michigan when we found it, but it does now, I believe. As well as chain tires, brake suspension, all that shit. What? I hope it's not fucking back here. Cool. <laughs> Lopsided and all that kind of shit. I don't know if I can fucking get anything back here. Oh, whoa, what, what? Find it? Oh, right, and head up. Golly. Okay. What was back here? How the fuck am I gonna get shit back here? I guess this way, but. Ugh. Okay, let's go ahead and just move our truck up here out of the way. Yeah, that looks like maybe a two cargo spot thing ain't it maybe kind of what it looks like to me get this thing up here man trying to get that twin steer back here turn around ah that's gonna be a bitch all right so <laughs> we got the tag up here to this first one closest to the side get that one second i got the Twin steer over here. I got it right here. 
little area. I thought about bringing it up here. That's why I'd pull the egg all the way up there, but uh, it's going to be hard to just turn this thing around. I don't know if I really want to try to turn it around either. And yeah, it looks like it is going to work just like I thought with the crane. So it's a type of cargo. Go ahead and keep that. That maybe. Oh man, I got a feeling it's gonna make this a little tippy. Maybe. But what my plan is, is fucking just drive this thing drag it down there basically like we've done before with some cargo whatever that we didn't have a proper trailer for or whatever we just kind of drug it to wherever we need to get it to and then load it up so i think that's what we're gonna do let's go ahead and push back to crane mode so we can get this crane directly behind us with straight don't really again, know how well this is going to work and we're going to drive this thing down here. And before I've been over here and I didn't go through here. I always kind of took this route because that looked like a wall. But it looks like it doesn't go all the way around. And it doesn't. I, I didn't realize that before. And I don't even know if this is really a wall or just like a little chain fence we can knock down or something. Well, that's how I got this. And oh, I was going to get that twin steer up here. Ooh, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more tippy back there on the back end. And I don't like it. If we can keep from doing that, I'm gonna try this with both this one and the other one. Just leave that twin steer down here. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a wall there. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was actual wall or just a fence. I know we just came through here. Ah, uh, man. All right. Yeah, trying to get. A twin steer through this and then turned around up there. It's like, I don't feel like messing with all that. Oh, come on now. Got up. Oh, shit. Ah. Can I. Are you gonna pull me? Pull me. Pull me. Help me. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe back here. Do this pole. Gonna help me get off of this. Yes, it is. There we go. Now let's go back to Cramo. Let's go ahead and grab that. Drive on down here. Now it should be pretty easy to load on here. I'm gonna turn this thing around afterwards. Yeah, that looks good enough to me mode I don't know if I really need my anchors I must let's go ahead and activate those man look at that you go fucking far don't they Oop. lift the more I got a little too close here Is it change trucks and just see if that's is good enough? It looks like it will be. Hell yeah. Okay, so we need one more like that. Change trucks again. Door crane. And then we're gonna go back up here. And what this way, I think. Like that. I'm trying to get that out of this is going to be fun. Uh, oh, well. We'll get her done. Up here. Ah! Here, I can figure it out. Fuck it. Come on. Turn around. And then we 
still got to deliver these things. Hopefully we can take the main road most of the way. Not all the way, hopefully. Hopefully we won't have any problems with it. And we didn't really have too many problems with the wind steer getting over here. We did dip it at one point. I got the scout. That fucking 420 over there. Dipped it back. I think the road was a little uneven. That might be a problem in a couple of spots, possibly. If it is, we'll make sure we don't recover this until it's past that point. Then we'll recover this and get it back out. We can load the cargo back up. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Cut through here. Hold these over so they'll be knocked over when we come back. Yeah, I would have thought they would have at least said, you know, crane wired or something on this. They usually do on stuff they need to crane to be picked up. Not just the cargo itself, because usually you can just pack the cargo without using the crane. Didn't say anything about it. I am surprised. Come on. Yeah, let's take... Oh, there enough. I go on some rocks here. It's about the only type of train that doesn't seem to like right now. Fucking rocks. It's gotten fucking high center on these so many times. The terrain itself, it usually does pretty decent. Again, I am going to go and turn this thing around. Around the crane right behind us directly. And then try to just pull it that way. But yeah, the Tega, it, it locks train pretty good, most part. Just it does not want to fucking pull stuff or haul stuff the other way. There's this crypto behind us. Ooh. Now it is. Uh, I ain't even gonna worry about pulling that. Closer. Ooh, come on. Go. Hopefully, once we get it loaded up, this will start moving back quickly. Hopefully. Right here. Get on up here. Pull the winch. over those trees will really kind of disappeared from their branches or whatever but not the actual trees themselves I guess our cargo is not getting hung up on anything back there so that's good uh further until we turn okay we gotta go a little bit further I was about to say have we missed our little turn spot all right here Right here, right here. Okay. Keep getting these anchors hung up on stuff. No, let's not go into that tree. Oh, let's turn. We'll have this <laughs> fucking armor, uh, armored cars already beat up. Cause it's definitely gonna be beat up now. Start getting dark on us before too long. Let's skip some more time. Alright. Go ahead and move up a little further. There we go. Frame mode. Go ahead and lift it. Engine. Trucks. I don't know why I did that. 
uh, unpack, move back. There we go. And we need this. Let's go ahead and set out the, at least to the main road. Yeah, right there's our 420. That's where right, it's at the wind steer a minute ago. Let me get this over here. Get it back up here to the main road. Where the fuck is this airport? Over by the entrance, ain't it? Close to it? Yeah. Uh, ha 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 ha. So we can't go that way. So we'll have to go this way. Maybe take the main road. Around-ish. <laughs> yeah. Got out all my markers. Get some time. Now we just gotta deliver this thing. And I'm not looking too... Oh, wait. Let's go ahead and roll up here. Forgot I was gonna do that. You know, whenever I brought it over here, I was like, I'll grab it when we go to leave. I almost forgot. I'm not looking forward to this trip. This trip is... Oh, no few spots I got a feeling we're gonna tip and I'm not gonna be too happy not just the spot that we tipped earlier but we had all that issues a couple videos ago with the cargo containers got to go through that area and I ain't looking forward to that we're gonna have to go the riverbanks with a bunch of fucking rods we're probably gonna get stuck on that Oh man, I ain't looking forward to this. Come on, Keep on going here. Ah, it's not what I want. Come on, really? All right, here, turn our back in. Where's these? There we go. Ooh, let's not tip it. Now we got our scout over here somewhere. We got that crane still. Prefer not to have to use it. Especially not this early. Come on. Come on, damn. They have as much problems coming over here. Got over here pretty easy. Just because of one little tip. Wasn't hung up at that point, and just kind of back in, kind of went off the track a little bit. They're going downhill. Just kind of pull the rest of her vehicle. Come on. Because we are loaded up now. We got more weight on us, but hopefully that doesn't affect us too much. Alrighty, so we should be getting close to having this one done. It's been a long trip over here. Kind of got bogged down a couple times. We crashed our hair. Talk a little bit. Had uh, our suspension completely red. Our gearbox a little damaged. Engine, oh, you got to be kidding me. That is so fucking close. So close. Oh man, but yeah, we fucking damaged some stuff and brought the 420 a little closer. All right, so I'm coming back up here. <laughs> like I'm saying, I damaged uh, uh, this truck some up here. I got it mostly repaired. It still has a little bit. It's not fully repaired. The suspension, the suspension was completely fucking red at one point. I damaged the engine, the gearbox, some damage on the tires, not enough to blow a tire though. And fucking uh, fuel tank, that fuel tank was pretty bad too. Come on, hey trucks, thank you. I ought to have it on dummy <laughs> trailers, I don't fucking know. But I got the 420 out, ooh, I don't like that. I'm gonna add an angle there. The 420, thin it over, repaired it stuff. Fueled it up some, you know, go to crane mode. And besides that, it's been pretty decent little drive, or not little, it's been a fucking long drive. Taking it slow, a couple times I thought I was gonna flip and I didn't. This video's 
take a lot longer than what I thought it would, so I'm probably going to cut most of that out since it wasn't very uneventful. Still, we got the bat right here. I don't know why I backed out of that. So I go down. There we go. Yeah. Can't tell if I had selected a grab or not there. Oh, a little bit more. I think that should be good enough, shouldn't it? I've been changed trucks just to see. <laughs> that cargo, hell yeah. Okay. Let's change trucks again. Let's kill this engine. Uh, change trucks again. That 420 is about out of fuel. Thing's gonna be well. I was about to say gonna be needing to be for too long, but we're almost fucking there. There's the airport that we gotta take this to. It sees it. I'm not fucking tip this thing. And the fact that we got this fucking close and then tipped it. We had some pretty shitty fucking train going over. And we managed. But we tip it right there. I can, you know, I'm just gonna go through these trees. Knock down this fence. You can put it back up, it'll be alright. I feel like going all the way down, trying to turn around and come back. Has this helicopter been here? I feel like it has, but I don't fucking remember an orange helicopter. Alright, $15,000. Alrighty, that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos, and leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Until next time, peace out, Ely. Everybody love everybody.